Item number SCP-6851 Index Putitsitia Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-6851 is to be housed in Site-171 and cared for in accordance with Ethics Committee Guidelines for Sapient Humanoid Anomalies. Any discussion, media, or actions of a sexual nature are prohibited in its vicinity. Further testing has been suspended. Description SCP-6851 is a humanoid entity lacking any primary sexual characteristics, which is wholly incapable of observing, being in the vicinity of, or even acknowledging any actions of a sexual nature. Any such acts brought to the attention of SCP-6851 are subject to a partially retrocausal phenomena which would see the action to have never occurred, with vastly differing mechanisms and outcomes being recorded depending on the situation. See Testing Log Testing Log Test 2 The New Testament Gospel of Matthew the verses which would describe Mary lying with Joseph. Data expunged. Canonically, Jesus is the result of virgin birth. All future tests must be authorized by site director Jack Law and are to use media with less worldwide renown. Test 3. Adult Video. Extra Sausage Number 15. Two minutes into the film, where the pizza delivery man character would otherwise begin to undress. The man instead declines alternative payment for goods and services and returns to his vehicle with the meal. The remainder of the film follows him throughout the rest of his shift as he makes mundane deliveries and consumes the forfeited pizza. All copies of the film in circulation found to have been affected. Individuals in the porn industry regard the film as an oddity and experimental critique of the standards of storytelling in such media. Though some fans still recall the contents of the original film and have taken to internet forums attempting to raise awareness, they are universally met with apathy and ridicule. Interviews with the movie's stars and crew have revealed that all involved in the production recall filming the anomalously produced version asserting that they intended to use the film to promote abstinence. Test 4. Self-published instructional book. Karba Suitra. 69 positions to burn calories using your burning passion. Item chosen due to the number of circulating copies being in the single digits. All descriptions and visual depictions of intercourse have been eradicated. The book consists of 68 individualized workout routines to be performed with a spotter or partner. Photographs which once depicted sexual congress between the author and his wife now feature each clothed in several layers of garments while performing the described regimen. When taken into questioning, the couple claimed to have never consummated their marriage of ten years. Test 6. Nature Documentary the many faces of the savannah. Documentary plays out as is expected for the majority of runtime. Around the hour mark, where a male lion would otherwise mount and mate with a lioness, the pair instead become preoccupied upon noticing the film crew. Narration which ordinarily would describe the mating process of these animals instead focuses on topics of preservation and endangerment by poachers as they begin to stalk in the direction of the camera. The scene cuts out as the lioness answers. In a call with David Attenborough regarding his role as narrator, he candidly spoke of the scene, finding it strange that the filmmakers would choose to use footage of a lion attack. Personnel investigating the nature reserve where it was filmed discovered that the male lion, the only adult held within the reserve at the time, had been chemically castrated upon rescue. None could explain the presence of the several cubs it had sired. Test 8. Sexual Education Pamphlet. Human Reproduction and You. A Guide for Curious Youth. Test aborted by the order of Site Director.
Are you out of your goddamn minds, Director Jack Law? Test 9. Personal account by D3692. Though D3692 was introduced to SCP-6851 with instructions to relay his last sexual experience in a dialogue with the anomaly, he instead described his most recent date prior to Foundation induction. By his account, the affair was pleasant, consisting of a candlelit meal with a female companion, which ended with D3692 dropping her off at her apartment before returning home. D3692 did not find this to be odd and proved unable to recall another account for further testing. Despite thorough investigation into each of D3963's former partners, romantic acquaintances, and social circles, all claimed that their interactions with D3692 were strictly platonic. It is believed that, due to SCP-6851's effect, D3692 has always been a virgin. Test 13 Live Demonstration At the behest of researcher Abrams, a test is held which would have a sexual act initiated in SCP-6851's presence. After discussion with the site director, the test is allowed to proceed, provided that D-Class may not be coerced to serve as a subject. Abrams volunteers, with the intent of performing self-stimulation. Upon removal of his trousers, Abrams discovers the complete absence of external genitalia, with the area covered with smooth skin. Abrams expressed confusion as to what he was doing or why he was in the chamber. Surgical intervention was successful in providing Abrams with urinary functions and avoiding bladder rupture. Therapeutic reconditioning is underway to reintroduce Abrams to the concepts of sex, penis, and other related materials. He has been provided the pamphlet from Test 8 to facilitate the learning process. <laughs>